Ragù di funghi e castagne. Delicious. And we're going to make some spaghetti with it. But you can use a ragù many different ways. So let's start with the basis of making the sauce itself. Olive oil, garlic. Okay. Let's put the shallots right in. Let's season the shallots. So let's get that golden. And chestnuts. Chestnuts, these are frozen and they're great for this use. And the mushrooms. Here we have uh, different mushrooms. And you know, you can use anything you have. Like here, for example, what I have here is the simple champignons. They're year round and you can make just with them, absolutely. Chanterelles are more in the springtime. Here are the shiitakes, available year round. So you can make any combination. The cremini are also very good, nice and meaty. And the oyster mushrooms, it's kind of a lighter rendition of the mushroom. It really melts. Okay, so here we are. This is wilted. Let's put the mushrooms right in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in there. Thyme, thyme and mushroom is very good. Well, a little bit is enough. So just to begin the cooking process here, I'm gonna put a little bit of water and the pasta water is perfectly fine. Okay. Just like that. Let's cover them so that they sweat out their water. I used to go for mushroom picking them all the time when I was younger. In the forest with uh, my mother and father, and uh, they teach me uh, where I can find them. And I continue even in America to go with my daughter, pick them. Let's go and see. That's evaporating. Uh, I am going to put the pasta on. So, you know, the pasta takes about six, seven minutes. Uh, I'm going to use spaghetti. Let's put the pasta cooking. But if you do not put salt in the pasta water, the pasta will be flat. And the one thing that I always tell you, that is that you do not put oil in your pasta water when you cook your pasta because you want your pasta to be sticky. A little bit of stickiness, that's where the sauce adheres to. So let's put the pasta right in the water. And give yourself an abundant space. And spaghetti like this, you don't want to pressure them in and break them. You don't want to break your spaghetti. Some of you tell me, oh, can I break my spaghetti? No, no, no. Italian ways, you have the whole long spaghetti, you twirl it on a fork, and it is delicious that way. Give it a few minutes and it will set right in there. Also, I get a lot of questions, you know, dry pasta, so a good dry pasta, look on the box, is uh, dry semolina, uh, 100%. It's dry, it's not blotchy, it's not broken, and then you cook it properly. So here I have chestnuts. This is enough. The mushrooms are really getting flavorful. I'm going to make a little hot spot, and I'm going to add tomato paste. You know, those ripe summer tomatoes, when they're almost overripe, they are traditionally sun-dried. They're put like on a board and like speckle, you know, they dry it in the sun like that. It really brings a wallop of tomato flavor to anything that you cook. And I add to that uh, uh, flavor by toasting it a little bit. Now I'll mix it all right in. And to make the sauce, let's take some pasta water and that will make your sauce. So the frozen chestnuts usually are um, halfway cooked, almost all the way cooked. And I'm gonna kind of cut them. I want chunks of chestnuts. I do wanna feel when I bite into a mushroom, also get a piece of chestnut. And you know, I'm kind of a little getting ready. I know who's gonna love this. And that's grandma. And I know she loves a little bit, you know, her sweets, you know how she likes her sweet. And the chestnuts will bring a little bit of sweetness 
right to all of this. Let me put a little bit of salt for the chestnuts. This will simmer away. I will clean all this up and get ready for grandma. Chestnut is a, is a great uh, uh, fruit, if you will, or nut. Uh, and it is a fall uh, gift uh, of the land. And it keeps for a while. Great roasted, great for dessert, but I like it savory too. And I mix it with mushrooms and it makes this great ragu. And it makes a great soup as well. The combination of mushrooms and chestnuts are really unique, so try it. The pasta, the ragu is done. And guess who's here? The guest of honor is here. Benvenuta, nonna. Grazie altrettanto. Thank you very much. You know how you love your, your, your fans out there that write all the emails that I show you on the internet and all of that? Well, they're all out there looking at you. What are you going to tell them? That I'm a year older than last year. <laughs> you are. Yeah. Should we tell them really how old you are, what birthday you're celebrating? For me, it's perfectly all right. Okay. Why don't you tell them? I'm only 96. <laughs> only. Only 96. And I'm very glad to reach this milestone. You enjoy your food, you enjoy your wine, you enjoy your garden, and that's what life is all about. Eh? That's it. That's what I do, yeah. Let me get the pasta so it doesn't overcook. We'll just put the pasta right in the sauce. Today I chose spaghetti. How's that? It's perfectly all right, yeah. Okay. And I'm going to just... Dress it just like that. You like mushrooms. I know you I, like I like very much. I used to go to pick them too. So how hungry are you, Grandma? Plenty. That's plenty for okay. me. Okay, let me make a nice That's mound plenty. like yeah. that. And let me get you some, some of the mushrooms. That's right on. what I need. That's beautiful. Mmm, they smell so delicious. Well, that's the beauty of cooking with mushrooms because it really fills the whole house with the aroma. Yeah, I'll put good. a little bit of the parsley, just like that. You spoil me. Okay, wait, wait. Nice. And you're gonna put your own cheese. I know you like additional cheese. I am going to make my plate too. Mmm. Mmm, they smell so nice. And they look so nice. So do you wanna put a little more cheese on top, Grandma? Uh, of course, a colita. Si. She asked me in Italian with my hands. I said, sure. <laughs> you were how old when you came to the United States? 35. She was 35. Yeah. She brought me. I was 12. My brother was 16. We had nobody else. So her and my father, they were all alone, not speaking a word of the language, and they came here as an immigrant. So she, 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 she did all the best to get us going. Then she helped me with my children, with Tanya. Then she helped my children with their children. Mm. She's still the great-grandchildren. Mm. She's busy eating. She wants to eat. I'll tell you the I, story I at some smell. point. You like it? You can talk. I can eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, how's the pasta? The pasta is good, and you are very good to me, too. And thank God I have you. Oh, good. <laughs> Salute. Let's taste Mm. 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 You had the pasta. How about a little bit of vino, a little bit of rosé to far a chin chin? Yeah, and, and while we're eating, let's do chin chin first. Salute. Salute. Okay, and then we gotta invite them. What do we say at the end? Tutti a tavola a mangiare e bere. And drinking. Salute. So you heard, you heard Grandma coming over. Chin chin. To learn more about Lydia, access to videos, and to get recipes, tips, techniques, and much more, visit us online at lydiasitaly.com. Follow Lydia on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at Lydia Bastianich. Mm -hmm.